psychics and welcome to episode 16 of Learn Tarot with me for free. I'm so excited to do this card today. We're doing the death card. The death card of the Major Arcana, one of the most feared cards in the deck, but the most beautiful card in the deck for me. Thank you for being here, for liking, subscribing and all the amazing comments and feedback you leave me. It means the world. We're going to be using the Arcanum Tarot and the Gilded Tarot today. And, you know, take some notes, take what resonates with you and then really tune into the card in your own time and really write down what you see. That's how you can get the most out of these videos. And then obviously at the end of this series, you'll be able to give readings for clients, for your family, for yourself and to anybody who needs guidance right now. So the death card then, what does it all mean? Is it scary? Not at all. It's not scary at all. It's actually one of the most transforming cards of the deck. The overall meaning of the, the death card in any deck, it means major, tra uh, major change and transformation. They've just shown me an, an analogy of a train, a train leaving the station. And that's really what happens with the death card. It's time to jump on the train because if you don't, you'll get left behind and it means new beginnings, fresh starts, the end of one way of life for a new one to begin. So it's the death of the old you in the start of the new one, a rebirth, a big, massive, rumbling change that's always expected. So don't worry that you're going to scare anyone when the death card comes up because the client will always be going through changes or expecting changes or wanting the changes. You know, there'll be something within them craving this change and the death card just really says it all. There will be aspected cards that can mean other things, but we'll go into that at the end. So, you know, the end, when we've done all the cards, we'll do aspected cards because usually the death card always comes up with the tower card because the tower card's about, you know, the fallout from the change. And, you know, this is pretty much the change itself. So let's look at each card individually then. So the death card in the Gilded Tarot then always reminds me of a pirate ship. You know, that's what I see when I look at the card because obviously you've got the skeleton here and he's a bit like Skeletor in He-Man, you know, a bit like Skeletor. So you can see him as the bad guy, but he's also got a good heart. And I always saw Skeletor in He-Man like that, you know, that he, he just kind of lost his way a little bit. And when you have the major change and transformation card coming out, the client may have lost the way a little bit and they need reassuring that everything's going to be okay and that all these huge changes that are happening are really lessons and blessings in disguise. So when the death card comes out, it's always a good sign and I love it when it comes out because it means refreshing change. Oh, it's like you can breathe a sigh of relief because good things are now coming in and you're ready for them. We've got obviously the flag here, you know, the flag. So this is kind of saying waving the flag, new beginnings. You're ready now to say it's okay. It's okay, helps on the way. That's what the angels are saying. They're saying when you get the death card, you know that you're supported and protected from heaven and that everything that's happening is for your higher good. And, you know, we've got the, the um, they show me a unicorn, but it's a horse on this shield here that you know really indicates freedom and moving forward and being ready for what's next so they show me this like a pirate ship in the stormy sea that there may be storms around right now but you were ready to move away from them and start afresh and do something brand brand new and then the arcane and tarot you know you could say it's a sinister picture but i love it you know, I love this card anyway. And I think if you see that the death card is negative, then that's how you'll see because it's how you read the cards. That's why I never do reversed cards in readings because there's no need to. You still get exactly the same messages coming through because if you're operating from a place of higher love and light, the readings you do will always have positive intentions and the death card is nothing but positive intentions. So when you see the Grim Reaper here, you know, when you see death, you know that there's good things ahead because you've got to end one way of life for another one to begin. You know, you have to go through a rebirth. It's about change, fresh starts, new beginnings. It means relief. 
it really does mean relief you can breathe a sigh of relief because you know it's time now it's time to make a fresh start so you know the person that you're reading for could be going through a major life change they could be leaving a marriage or they could be going through a huge career transition or they could be going off on their own path or doing something they want to do or having a huge spiritual awakening but they will know you know, they will know that this is a welcome change that's coming in and it's showing that there's hope here because it might look like a sinister card whereas, you know, the Grim Reaper is standing on all these skulls but these signify rebirth and that we can only be reborn when we shed our past self and that's what's showing here. You know, the, the client you may be reading for may be shedding everything that they thought was real for so long and realizing the truth that you know there is more to life and there is changes that can be had and life is beautiful and it is scary to make changes because as humans we don't like change and i personally believe that's one of the reasons that the death card comes up the way it does with grim reapers and skeletons because we automatically get afraid of change as human beings, yet our soul craves it. And, you know, it's like the whole message of death itself. Don't fear death. It's eternal life. You know, don't fear death because you don't, it doesn't end. It goes on, you know. So know that if the death car comes up, it's going on. It's continuing. And, you know, never. I mean, I've been reading a long time and it never means death itself. You know, you have to realise that, if you're operating from a place of love and light, the angels would never give you anything that would hurt a person or put a person into fear energy. You know, the only person who knows how long a human is here for is the creator. You know, the angels haven't got access to their information. They know what they need to know for, you know, to look after us and stuff, but it's only the creator who knows those things. <clears throat> And it may create fear energy, you know. You may be afraid. The angels are saying that there may be fear energy connected with you when you're reading this card to communicate what you want to say. But always trust in your intuition. And, you know, I'm here to say right now, this card does not mean death. It does not mean actual death. Don't listen to anybody who tells you otherwise. Because, yeah, the angels are saying, if you're watching this and you're a little bit afraid of this card or afraid to say what it means to a person when you're reading, you don't need to fear it. <clears throat> There's going to be fear energy. So release that to heaven. And as always, Archangel Raziel, the psychic angel, will allow you to tune into your psychic gifts and insight so that you tune into the card. And Archangel Gabriel will give you the skills that you need to speak your truth and speak what needs to be said. But never fear the death card when it comes up in a reading because people fear change, but they always welcome it at the same time. And that's really what happens with this card. You know, it doesn't mean death. It doesn't mean bad things are going to happen. It means major change and rebirth, major change and transformation. And, <clears throat> you know, and they're, just, they're showing me this communication because when you get this card, breathe it out. You don't have to fear it, you know. And so many people could fear it if it comes up in a reading. And that's why I'm, they're showing me this right now because they feel that I need to say... So call on Archangel Michael for protection with every reading that you do, giving you the strength to be able to speak your truth, to communicate clearly. And don't let anybody tell you otherwise. This death card is not a bad thing. It's beautiful. It means welcome change, new beginnings, fresh starts, good things ahead, you know, good things ahead. And the, it's okay helps on the way. You'll be led in the right direction if you surrender to the journey. You'll be led in the right direction direction by the beautiful angels so don't fear the card and you know this card like you could say this card's a bit scary and this is a bit more easier to take but you know they both mean new beginnings but they're really showing me with this they're showing me a pirate ship a pirate ship moving forward or a train that you need to jump on and if you miss that train you know there could be repercussions because you're afraid of making the change just like when we had, you know, the card that came out when I said that my friend wouldn't make a change in his life when we did a, a card not long ago. You know, he wouldn't make a change. It was the Wheel of Fortune, that was it. If you haven't watched that video, go and watch it. One of my friends was in a job they hated and they didn't make the change. 
that they were meant to make and it went on and on and on and then where they worked actually burnt down and that was a major change and transformation that was the death card you know and that's what happens if you don't make these changes if you stay stuck if the angels and the creator knows that there's more to your life and you're not doing what you need to be doing they will put a big huge curveball in that will make you have a major change and transformation and it could feel like death you know, if we go through a divorce or a relationship ends or a career comes to an end, it feels like a death, you know, you feel like you've lost something, you feel a part of you is missing, you're not sure what to do next and that's when you're reborn and blessings come in and you learn new things and you become spiritually aware. So the death card is always a really positive sign when it's seen in the right way. And they're actually showing me in this card, you can see this in a light-hearted way. A bit like death in the Terry Pratchett books or the death in, you know, Bill and Ted's bogus journey. That death has got a sick sense of humour sometimes, you know. He's got a sense of humour, so you have to really realise that there's humour in everything. And everything that you go through is all about learning and growth. And there's nothing bad in the tarot. There's nothing bad in your life if it's seen in a positive way. I hope this helps, and we'll be back tomorrow with the amazing Temperance card. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you soon.